Hi, welcome to excelrush.com. Today we are going to learn a function called equal to unique in Google Sheets. This is a function which is not available in Excel as yet, but its use is brilliant. Let's take an example of this sales data. So we have 15 rows of data with some customer IDs and you will observe that the customer IDs are repeating. You have C845 here, you have C845, C845 and so on. What we want to know is, we want to have a unique list of these customer IDs and then get the total of their sales into another sheet and then we'll take it from there. So we go to a blank sheet for example, we write unique equal to unique. We go back to the sales data and we take the entire C column, we close the bracket, you will see the formula here and you press enter. You get a unique list of the customer IDs. And here we can easily say total sales and give a sum if s function where we take the total column first, comma, the customer ID column, comma, and instead of writing the customer ID, we pick it up from here. So automatically when we drag down the formula, all the customer IDs will be picked up one by one. Now this looks like a pivot table output. So what's new in this? The best part is Right now, this is C953. If I go ahead and add two more rows of data, let me just copy paste from here where I have made some sample. Now, if you observe, you will see a C999 which was not there in the data earlier. The customer code now is C999. It has got added here automatically. You will can drag this formula down further. Now again you will say that this is a part of pivot table as well, no problem. But based on this, I can decide what offer I want to give. So I can give this guys an offer that if the value is greater than 2000, we will give an offer, otherwise not. For example, when you drop this down, you will observe that okay, only two people have got an offer. Now if I go ahead and add one more record for C903 where currently the total is 1200. Let me just copy this data and we'll make it order number 18. C903 for example. We know that we want to make this value more than 2000. So if this was the order, we go there, automatically the value has become more than 2000 and an offer has been given. So the values update dynamically, the customer IDs get added automatically. If I put a C1000, gets added automatically. So this kind of output is directly possible using the unique function where you get a unique list and then whatever formulas you want to add to that list, you can add in these columns. You can think of commission, incentive, any kind of calculations using this for a unique list of customer IDs, salespersons, regions, products, anything like that. Thank you for watching.